Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to export and import databases in SQL Server. So I will use DBForge Studio. So DBForge Studio is developed by Divart and it is a powerful integrated development environment for efficient SQL Server database management, administration, development, data generation and reporting and much more. It has many features, like SQL Coding Assistance, Source Control, Table Designer, Database Designer, and many more. It is available in free and paid versions, and to download it we have to click on this download button. You can find the direct link to this download page in the description. So here we need to download DBForge Studio for SQL Server and the version is 6.3 so here we need to download the enterprise edition and we will use it for free during the trial period after the trial period we have either to buy the license or dbforge studio will switch automatically to the express edition which is a free version now let's start dbforge studio then let's create a new connection we can use this window, so we can close it, and you can open it again by clicking on this button, New Connection. Then here let's provide the server name. Then let's select the authentication method. So I am using the default authentication method, which is Windows Authentication. Then here we can select a database, but this is optional. Now let's click on Connect. And here we have the list of the available databases. Now I want to export this database called Library1. So let's expand it. Then let's expand Tables. And here we can see that we have four tables. Now let's take a look on the data of this table called Books. So let's make a right click. Then Retrieve Data. And here we can see that we have these rows. Now to export this database, we have to make a right click, then Tasks, then Generate Scripts. So here we have the name of the connection and here we have the name of the database that we want to export. Then here we have to provide the path where we want to save the script. So you can change this path by clicking on this button. So in my case, I want to save the script on the desktop. So let's select desktop and let's click select folder. Then we have to provide the file name. So by default, the file name will be the name of the database. And it ends with a timestamp. We can remove the timestamp by unchecking this box. But in my case, I will check this box. Like this, we have the timestamp at the end of the file name. Also, the extension is .sql. Now let's click on next. Then here I want to export everything in this database. So I need to check all the boxes, the structure, the data, and the objects. Now let's click on next. Then here we have additional options. We can keep the default options, then let's click on next. Now let's click on generate. So now the script is being created. Now let's click on finish. And here we can see that we have this new file. It contains the data of our database. Now I will show you how to import a database. So we can delete this database because I will show you how to import it. So let's make a right click. Then delete. Let's confirm. And let's create a new database called Library1. So let's make a right click on the connection name. Then New Database. And let's call it Library1. Let's click on Apply Changes. Now the database has been created, so we can close this page. And let's refresh the connection to find the new database. So this is our new database. So for the moment it is empty and I will show you how to import the data into this database. So we have to open our SQL file. To do this we have to click on File, 
then open file it is on the desktop so we have to select it then let's click on open then we need to select the database into which we want to import the data but this is not really necessary because our file will use library one by default now let's run this file so let's make a right click then execute so we can see that the file has been executed correctly now we need to refresh the connection and here we can see that we have four tables let's see the data of this table for example so let's make a right click then retrieve data and here we have the data of the table now i will show you how to import the database into another database with a different name so let's create a new database let's call it library2 let's click on apply changes now the database has been created correctly so we can close this page and let's refresh the connection to find the new database and here we have our new database called library2 now i will show you how to import the database of this file into this new database so here in the database we have to select our new database then in this file we have to delete the lines that contain library1 so let's delete all of these lines let's scroll down and let's delete these lines as well now we can run this file so let's make a right click then execute and we can see that the file has been executed correctly and here we can see that we have these four tables let's see the data of this table and these are the rows of the table 